This episode of Splat Factor is brought to you by Buy E. The Walking Ink Cyclopedia on all things Nintendo. It's Matt. Now this is happening. The Crustacean with razor sharp takes. It's Ivan. I'm glad that I came. Here's the sardine with exquisite taste for music and seafood. Give it up for Kurt. Last but not least, the tech-savvy anglerfish, lighting up thousands of lives. It's Darren. I know their music is ass. Acopolis is full of many talents. It's a required taste. But they all can't be winners. What are you talking about? Today, <laughs> we're going to be going over some top ta Trying to figure out- I'm going to re-record this a million times on my own end. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to figure out some top talent from a Splatoon <laughs> universe and see if they are going to win. So are you guys excited to see yeah, some talent and possibly- that. Do they invest? Do the hosts invest? This is a Mads video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very judgmental. I will gauge their talent off of how they look. Oh, the, first, <laughs> the first talent we've got up is two cousins, but they're known as the Squid Sisters, Callie and Marie. It's my favorite category. <laughs> Beyond their hosting duties, they are key members of the new Squid Beaks Platoon. They guide Inklings through challenges in Octo Valley, fighting against the Octarian Menace. I don't know how that affects her music career. Why does the green girl got a Froyo cup on her head? That is a calamari ring. No, that's a Froyo. What flavor would that froyo be? Lime? Mint? Squid. <laughs> is she taking her hair as a bow? That's not hair. That's like that's like her skin. That's her arms. That's her flesh, man. <laughs> she made a flesh bow? Alright, there ain't no bones in that. Yeah. <laughs> their contrasting styles extend to their personality and fashion. Gally is much more energetic. <laughs> Marie is more laid back and sarcastic. How do you guys feel about their design? Uh, I'll tell you in a second. <laughs> what do you mean by that? What are you what waiting you for? That? that guy's on some devious behavior. He's plotting right now. He's plotting something. This is crazy. All right, I'm gonna listen to this. So what language is this? What language? City of color. I'm just saying I wouldn't move, man. I'm buzzing. It's not my <laughs> thing. First of all, not a, I could understand a single word of what they Yeah, I think, I think they might need a glass of water. I don't hate it, but I feel like I've heard better. Darren just doesn't like calamari. You like tentacles? Yeah, I don't know. Nah, it's a no for me. Sorry, sorry, Squid Sisters. I guess you're taking the L. I think they sound a little too generic. It's good for a first attempt. I didn't understand a word that they said. Yeah. Bro. That sound like shopping music. And not the good kind, like the weed. Underwater American Eagle, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see our next talent, Pearl and Marina. Damn, Ooh. damn. Okay. Damn. I'm looking respectfully. Biggie and Tupac. What? Wait, what? You don't know who these characters are based off of? No way are these based off Biggie and Tupac. Yes. What? Wait, are they actually based off Biggie? No, yes, no, it yes. is. Maz don't even know who that is. He started Googling Nintendo characters. Oi, mate, who's Biggie? Is that a secret villain in a Mario line? You know that <laughs> album art of Biggie with the crown? Oh, oh, like this. And they're friends? They're looking for accuracy. In this universe, <laughs> Darren, they're also squids. Beef is beef, bro. I did not know that. Well, I mean, that's kind of cool. That is cool. I feel like overall these guys have better fashion. First off, their drip is way better. Their drip is astronomically better. How's their music, though? Here's their tunes. Oh, this is a banger! Oh, this is I love Fly Octo Fly, dude. First off, lyricism way more clear than the last one. I know every word here. This sound like it should be in Sword and Shield. Oh, this is a bop. I forgot how good this was. It was very good. Also, like, they got a big crowd going on here. Yo. Those guys don't even know they're not real. We ain't got any buzzes. No buzzes, bro. My favorite part though is when they went. I love that part. They got the X factor for me. <laughs> it's a yes from me. They won, bro. Yes, sir. I'm telling you, whoever you're gonna put next is gonna be an immediate downgrade. Speaking of Splatoon, check out this cool Splatoon skateboard deck I got. <laughs> yeah, and these are uh, Pikmin vases I got. They're pretty nice. Both of these items and tons more of Nintendo goodies are exclusive to Japan. And as someone who's always wanted but never visited the country, I've been insanely jealous when I see these images on Twitter. Navigating Japanese websites can be pretty daunting, so I've decided to do something about it and start using Baiyi. Suddenly, items exclusive to Japan were just a click away with its hassle-free proxy shopping. It's as simple as buying online like you already do. Click, click, click. Done. Got several items you want to snag, but worried about shipping costs? Baiyi lets you bundle your items into one shipment and save on Dodge. You can even store your items in their warehouse for up to 30 days till you ship them out to your address at no extra cost. And if you've got questions, you have no worry in knowing the support team speaks your language, ensuring a smooth shipping experience for everyone involved. Sign up to Baiyi with my link below and snatch a 10% off coupon. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description and start browsing Japanese goodies today. I've started collecting Japanese GameCube games for the past year, and I think Baiyi is 
it's going to make that experience a lot less painful for me. Thanks again to Bayi for sponsoring this video and making me realize an official Splatoon skateboard deck existed. The next is a trio deep cut. Oh, I just realized that thing behind him is a living thing. I thought it was like a wall. <laughs> no, no, that's big man. Dude, they call him big man. I'm trying to find out. I like their style, but they are ugly. Nah, I think Shiver is cute as hell. I like both of them, to be honest. You don't mind her forehead? No, they're cool. Is there a dent in that? <laughs> <laughs> She's been wearing her headphones on stream, bro. Somebody photoshopped the Tyler one indent on her. I like both of their designs, to be honest. I definitely prefer Fry to Shiver. What the f*** is that on her head, bro? Dude, is that pineapple? I'm down. I'm not a fan of their face. I like their style, though. They have the best aesthetic. This is the best aesthetics, hands down. But you guys don't like Big Man? How big is he, though? He's pretty big. Yeah, he holds the TV. That guy is furniture. Darren, you weren't wrong. That guy just holds the TV. No, oh, oh, oh. you mean you talk about the big-ass, ugly-ass manta ray behind Darren him? Darren has not been able to perceive him for the past three minutes. Each member brings a different <laughs> cultural influence to their music. Shiva leans into Japanese style. Fry incorporates Middle Eastern and Indian elements, and Big Man adds Brazilian. Brazilian? That guy's not Brazilian. <laughs> no, he's Brazilian. He's a Brazilian manta ray. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Yeah. Let's even perform for reference. Yo, Ooh. the beat on this is like I'm going through like Cairo type beat. I love this they song. They hit that snake charmer music, that snake charmer horn. <laughs> this is better than the first one, but not better than the second for me. I'm with Darren. I like it not as much. It is cool, but it has like very well fused. No, this is a bop. I buzzed. I just registered <laughs> that he's a real thing again. I forgot. He was a wall. Darren doesn't acknowledge the Brazilians. Brazil, come at this guy, bro. You guys don't think he's Brazilian? I need to see some paperwork, man. He is Brazilian. I found a picture. There he is. Brazilian face. Oh. oh, dude. <laughs> That's so messed up. <laughs> that, that, I forgot. I'd register him if he was on my plate. That's <laughs> messed up. I don't know how I feel about that. Get a little hungry. Anyways, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Deep Cut. You can walk off. Security. Take him out of here, bro. I don't like looking at him. These next guys are known as the Chirpy Chips, which is oh, a full member. They're British. They're a British band for sure. They have a sea anemone, an inkling, a flapjack octopus, and a crab. I love her, bro. I like her style. Even though, again, she keeps trying to sell me her mixtape in a store. Her underarms definitely stink, bro. He sells jars filled with her bath water. <laughs> she plays Valorant, bro. <laughs> the second one looks like the person you don't want to get left with at the party because you know he's going to just talk to you all night. The second dude looked like mad. Wait, who's the octopus? That is not what that is. That is what? a virus. That's a, yeah, that's a skinwalker. That, that's yeah, that's yeah, dead. Bro. That's <laughs> a guy that died. And they just put his body up there on stage. That is a carcass. This guy runs a Minecraft server. Bro, look at his feet. He has multiple feet. I didn't even realize that. Ew. Oh, damn, he does. Ew. Whoa, he looks cool. Nah, bro. He got to buy three pairs of pants to wear one pair of pants. It's crazy. Taylors hate this. <laughs> Taylors hate him. Fire. Oh, this, this is, is the fire. best song. I like this. This is the best song. I like this. It's always the underground artists that got the biggest vibes, bro. Yeah, that's why we gotta show them some love. I can't believe they got the corpse on bass. Yeah, they weird as fuck, but that music is good. That's a good music. Yeah, they're doing a weekend at Birdie's type beat, but it's a cactus. That's a husk. The music is a blend of electronic and chiptune elements, so that's why it's called Chirpy Chips. <laughs> it sounds like Anamanaguchi. It's really good. Where'd you guys rank them? This is the best one so far. Yeah, this is the best song. They get the semen cowl approval. Do you like it more than Off the Hook, Darren? They definitely have the best song, but overall, like style, presentation, aesthetically, I think the duo is better. Let's be honest. Everyone in this lineup has done something. I know the one all the way on the left has crabs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Darren. I'm just going to say this up front. I don't think they have, um... What the hell am I looking oh, at? Oh, nah, I f*** with The these. salmon, uh, Yeah, so my name is W3. Nah, it's a three-member band of salmonids. They don't have names. Oh, wait, actually, I have seen these guys before. I like them a lot. I actually really think they're <laughs> really, really good, actually. <laughs> the mic is his eye. Oh, oh he a freak. Dude, they look smelly. They no. are definitely 100% smelly. They live in- They're fish. Let's not judge a book by its cover, though. Judging every cover. What really matters is their music and if they have the talent. So if you guys want to give this you a listen- You laughing means it's about to be oh, I see. This is not music. Buzz, I'm buzzing. This is cat. Hold on, let him cook. Nah, how do you have three different instruments and you don't hear any of them in the song, bro? <laughs> this sound like a cat just 
stood on the piano. Bro. It sounds like a modem having sex with a violin. Buzz. <laughs> you know what? Shut up, Darren. No. You know what? Buzz. I dig what they're doing, bro. No, you don't. It's different. It's, no, it's, different is bad. They are hitting the instruments at random. No, no, no. This is definitely a rhythm here. I think not. they're thinking outside Darren. the box. They should think more in the box. They're doing things with these instruments. Buzz. Darren, the on the left is hitting a drum with a corn on the cob. <laughs> Whatever he's doing, he should keep doing it. You got my approval. Darren, it's a moist Darren, critical Darren, take, no. man. That was awful. You don't actually believe I that, appreciate do you? creativity, man. Like the first one was extremely generic. This is different. I feel like the audience would be niche for sure, but they'd have an audience. Yeah, like because like there's only one person and it's you. Like this is awful. The hating is crazy. It's the not hate, it's just real. It's just facts. They need to go back to what they were doing before. <laughs> <laughs> so what what's our conclusion? Delicious. Get them off the stage immediately. They have my thumbs up, bro. Get Darren off too, man. They have my thumbs up, bro. I like their whole manga. Oh, uh, Darren just saw the manga in his brain. Bro. Oh, well, you're biased. Oh, black and white. Oh, cross hatching. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Their style extremely unique. Their music extremely outside of the box, daring. Dude, if I blended up a rat and gave it to you and told you it was a smoothie, that's different and unique and daring. Would you drink it? You said a you what? Drink a it? rat? Yeah. If I blended a rat bro, and gave it to bro, you as a drink. Bro, there's only one person in this chat who almost ate one, so I don't want to. Yeah, well, the audience doesn't rat. know. The audience oh doesn't yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. You almost ate a rat. Wait, Is sorry, that wait, pause. You almost ate a rat, Ivan. We're asking Darren here. I just can't believe how many plates of food Kurt Bro, has. Because as soon as walk off stage, I'm there with the fire. Yeah, no, they walk off stage into your mouth with all this fish, you goblin. Someone get security. If you don't perform good enough, you get eaten by Kurt. I start rubbing my hands together deviously above the air fryer. <laughs> Kurt's got the old day seasoning in his pocket. You guys ready for the next group? Go for I it. got my air fryer set to 350. <laughs> they go by the name Seaside. So Seaside described as a grungy, rebellious trio that represents the Splatlands. Why does the one in the middle remind me of Ivan? What the hell? That's <laughs> racist. How? He has Ivan Edity. That guy in the middle is a YouTube cartoon reviewer. <laughs> <laughs> That's fing LS Mark. I do like their pets. Do you guys notice their pets? Are those scrimps? Oh, we do oh got the heads. God. Is that animal cruelty? Now, the one on the right giving me weird wow. vibes. The boy on the left is not happy to be alive. I think he's taxidermed. I do think they have good style. Besides the headless dog shrimp. I feel like they'd be cool to hang out with. All the members had no formal musical training, but did it all through pure ambition and innate talent. Yeah, YouTuber like, bro. I, I respect oh that. Oh my God, bro. They're YouTube musicians. They could be. This is what the, the music sounds like. Oh, this is good. Whoa, this is good. This is them? Yeah, this is them. Hey, y'all, Nate, follow. Me, 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 me. Yes. This is the best one. This is a classic. Despite being a small group, the fact that they got a radio deal for <laughs> one of the Splatoon stages is incredibly impressive. Nah, that's sick. There's a lot of one-hit wonders out there, but I think this one is going to stand the test of time. Any buzzes? Nah, Very nah, good. This, this is the best one thing. so far. 100%. Damn. I don't know how they got that deal. I know their royalties looking crazy. And this is a cover. Nah, bro. They industry plans. But I will say... This song does make me feel angry at kids. Are we judging it based off talent or are we being real people and judging it based off how they look? <laughs> Give the W to off the hook, man. I'm trying to sniff. Call me the octopus because I'm going to ink. Um, <laughs> 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 you need to be stopped. <laughs> All right, so we I might also go off of who is the most delicious. It might be recency bias, but I'm going to go with Seaside. I'm going off the hook. Shout out to Tupac and Biggie. As much as I love everyone else, I'm going to have to go with the, the Seaside. Go Seaside. What the? Oh, wait, that means it's a 50-50 split. Well, no, my vote counts as two. <laughs> All right, cool. We win. Let's go. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. Shout out to Double Vote from Rotten Apple, yes, baby. Sir. That was pretty good. Matt just moved on like, yeah, he's got two votes. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, oh, my bad. Oh, yeah, forgot about that one. I think it says to say his vote counts twice. <laughs> Kurt, <laughs> shut up. Where can we find you guys? Uh, at? You can find me at Ivan Animated or Recreo. Kurt Ritchie, Recreo, Third Impact. If you like Apple and animation and tech, then check out Rotten Apple. Out now. <laughs> I hate this. I, I love fish. <laughs>